You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy. Us Torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson? Smuggling? Drug dealing? Good old-fashioned murder? We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day's here! Longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? So 
sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. You're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators in Staircase 2. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. Tricks up your sleeve? I... What a warm welcome, don't you think? I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. 
Just look at that, boys. The police dog and its bitch. Not sure which one is which. <laughs> You're gonna take that back. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. discussion. Alex, what do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to we be a police officer just like his dad. Kill the hostages! Another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? Want. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun.
pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double! On it, Sarge. Damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. 
Emotional trauma. Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. One parking ticket is all it takes to approve mindfulness. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Cause you don't have a warrant, do ya?
What a douchebag. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Amazing colors, and there's not one but two of you. From now on, I promise I will cherish you more often. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. It's RoboCop! Surrender your weapons. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
You need to be partners. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries. So they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know. Law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. 
Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man. Over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. This is where Soot is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. If Soot is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig found our lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Probable cause confirmed. You'll make 
like a fine trophy. You're okay there, Murphy? Behind you. Now, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. I'm invincible! Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. Hear music. We're getting close. I've got eyes on the stage. Looks like they haven't realized we're here yet. Sook's here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then, get ready for a meltdown. You think you're gonna get anything out of the to- oh, That's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Yourself out. That's not even mine. No, it was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal. I freaking hate you. And I'll never rest until everything. 
That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob. Tip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a lighter you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this Great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me. So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. 
Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down, he'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism, a fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand, you must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. 
How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processors can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man, but that takes guts. It's about Lois. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one, too. A uh, police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your... shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Hi, Murphy. I was told you'd come to help me. This is exciting. I don't get many visitors here. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, 
If one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. Working perfectly. Good as new. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. I am detecting a malfunction. Huh? That doesn't seem right. This server is compromised. Good thing you noticed. Ah, Robocop. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Yet, despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So, what are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Now, isn't that Street Vulture's turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh, man. That's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy, I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh, Robocop, stay. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. Uh, uh, Robocop? Robocop? Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally savage. Apparently none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. I will be the first. Uh, I'm gonna get fired. Finding a missing police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. Abandoned squad car sighted. It could belong to Officer Briggs. I, I can't report it based on your assumption. I'm already in enough trouble. OC 
CCTV tracking device torn out. That's why no one knew where to look. There is blood on the seat. I mean, it's possible it belongs to someone else. Bullet holes in the bodywork. <laughs> Every cop car in the precinct has bullet holes. I am going to follow the blood trail leading from the car. I, I know you really want to find Briggs, but the trail might as well belong to any of those bikers. I'm urging you to discontinue this search. Negative. No weapons. I am looking for a police officer. Hey, I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No. Police officer, I get you. You're right. Not long ago, they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Are you ready to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, was moved to another location. I have a thug's testimony. Proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into alliance then? I am hoping for it. out of police jurisdiction and according to the new policy if we wanted to legally be there we need to go through an OCP executive and I'm sure you know what your standpoint is I do I'm starting to understand why he hired me you're a hand Aren't you getting lonely, knight in shining armor? Probably wondering what's coming to help you. Then why don't you do it? This is no. Bring crowd to the heroes. Get that cemetery. Get the fuck out of here. Let's fuck out
I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop, now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey, you're spoiling my mood again. I don't like it when cops wander around. Cops mean trouble, and trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... No. No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrion. We're up to the job, no worries. And as for your toy... Would you like to join us? A fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for it. How does it feel knowing we're going to take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't going to do shit about it. I bet it really pisses him off. off the charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss Spike was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me, let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop, I really hope you find him. Take cover! You're there. That's the quarry. I hope you find Briggs. I will not stop until I do. Oh, so you think you're a tough guy, huh? If you really think you got the guts, come on. You'll love our place in the Northwest. It's the hub of our smuggling operations. And I'm telling you now, there's plenty. And let's not forget the other one in the north. It's filled with them crazy drugs we skimmed off those stupid punks. Now tell me, that's not something that would interest you? He's clearly prepared an ambush for you. That's why you won't try to go there, right? Right? Oh, shit! Shy? I've told the boys to give you a proper greeting. I am. Um... Oh, thank God. <sighs> How was it? Was that a risk worth taking? I have collected incriminating documents. Spike must have felt confident about his small army. So I'm guessing you're ready for round two? I am going for a knockout. Your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? 
I am in the freezer. What is a freezer even doing there? They used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means... He was not the only victim. <sighs> More bodies? That's insane. I'm getting you back up, even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. Robocop, all available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best. Hey, Robo! Good, you're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an ED-209. Maybe you could make use of it. Even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. Their time is up. I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. Ed 209 and Robocop fighting hand in hand? I can't wait to see how this goes. Seconds to comply. Where to go, Robocop? Oh, I can't wait to tell everyone at the precinct how you kicked Ed's ass. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve. It can't end like this! Murphy, you got the cop killer. You decided to trespass on our turf. And that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? <laughs> Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm do one better, cop. I'm out of here. You now have five seconds to comply for. I said three, everything is two, under control. One. Ed, I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Under attack from Ed 209. What? Oh, oh okay, okay. L let me see if I can help. I'm pretty sure I saw its documentation here in the precinct. Uh, be right back. Put down your weapon. Okay, listen to this. Apparently, Ed 209 speaker cover is often reported compromised after field duty. 
Why don't you try making that your target? What the hell happened here? Ed 209 malfunctioned. Uh, is... is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. No. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. Well, there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please. Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. Blood pressure. I've got 40 pal. Course VFib. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the Ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 615. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But, a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Oh, I understand. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? 
Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late 40s, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? There are plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. Ah, there's my favorite law enforcement officer. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. 
Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. like you're all that impressive. With all that fancy tech, a brick would know how to shoot. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. 
Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on Earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. <laughs> Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. It is a C4 explosive, and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Okay. It's according there are... Uh, based on... So, I, okay. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like, now. I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <sighs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold, back with the money in the next... We're leaving. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about?
out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining fighters. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. I am listening, Creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. There he is! It's our pensions. Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? It helps if the criminals know that they should fear me. I suppose it makes your job easier. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? My programming does not allow for family life. No. I guess that was never the intention. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? I cannot explain. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you. I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. Am I? I'm hearing you clearly. 
Oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? OCP is never to be trusted. That's what I'm saying. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike! Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But, you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I am not involved in politics. Well, well let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me, right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already- You have the right to an attorney. Hey! I wanted to help you! 
release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Uh. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know, 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Despite his glitches, Robocop was able to capture Antonowski. The malfunction has again been caught on camera by our own Samantha Ortiz. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding its status as a machine. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. TV personality I keep seeing on television? Have a seat, Robo. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might have seen some of your glitching on TV, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, 
sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Hey. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. Yeah, I get it. Murphy, in my office. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? It has to be him. Then you won't like what I've got to say next. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about him? Can you trust him? He is an OCP employee first, police officer second. I know what you mean. Maybe having him listen in on your meeting with Becker will give us some definite answers to what his priorities are. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of them.
Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. You did not pull the trigger. The people responsible have paid for it. I know. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it will happen. Mother, why aren't you saying anything? Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? The pain was, is crushing, but every officer is aware of the risk. That is not what I wanted to hear. I believe that death isn't the end. You... Oh, walk.
walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Why the long face, Robo? They'll oh, pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning Please you'll now. be back to signing to get deals ready if nothing for the transfer. happens. of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us. Doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. Did Mr. Becker's intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. This is no appreciation, fighter. Gunshots? What's going on here? Dr. Me to his new robot spy, my dear. QEDs? They're already functional? Stop resisting, I read! Planting streets.
hell just happened? Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I meant RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's RoboCop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old-timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy! Briefing room, now! First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Robo, do you have a minute? Are you here to attempt to humiliate me again? That depends entirely on you. I've been sent here to conduct an interview with you. For some reason, people value your opinion when it comes to the election. No, thank you. Roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a machine that needs no introduction. RoboCop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Delta City could be helpful if done correctly. So you agree with Mayor Kuzak that leaving the construction in OCP's hands might lead to more trouble? 
Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. We've got what we needed. Talk to you later, Robo. Strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Just another slime that tried to run the city. I'm afraid he's something more than that. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. The best way to keep my hands busy is to hand me a criminal. Oh, so much anger. I know where it's coming from. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform.
can't take it. Easy. It's a nasty wound. Three scumbags got into the armor. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. want to fry me? Help! Oh, Martha, what will happen to you when I leave? I can't leave you! Help! Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, Martha needs me, you know? Oh, it's such a great car. But they'd probably scrap it if I died here. You saved us both. Thank you.
Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. Can't you get it through that thick skeleton? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry! I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. That's it for me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you.
Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. Ugh. Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. You're back already, Grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. Maybe you're more like me. And you get a headache just thinking about politics. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? 
I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I am glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine's honesty would make an experienced psychologist open up about her past? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? Would an actual person glitch? We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Can I sign with this? Caution! Oh! She's not a long oh! agent target. Oh! Cuff is guarding the target. Status stable! Oh god, were they here to kill me? We need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Visuals on the tango. Follow me. Enemy <laughs> Follow me. Can we rest for a moment? No, we should not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is getting awfully hot. Concentrate on the positive, Olivia. We need to move. This heat is just too much. We must keep going. Contact. Thank you so 
so much. The sprinklers aren't working. Make our way. Follow me. Oh, wow. I've seen messes here before, but it's not quite like this. I'm finally starting to understand the shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand. It puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is... Thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Huh. Another respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them ain't come back. Let's hope it's not an A. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. 
You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch criminals. I didn't know today's bring your kid to work day. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time to for Welcome to Omni me. Consumer Products. I know who How you How may are, I help you? Lady. A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. You don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. Let me get that door for you. Sir! I saw that whole scene, the way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. Reminder, a gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now, Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. 
And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone did. The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife, so you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come!
It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo! That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit, since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for Robocop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The UEDs will do an adequate job. You hear that? Adequate. And he knows what he's talking about. Robocop has seen them in action. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what, exactly? Get back with his family? 
Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Kuzak. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my remote! That's what's happening! Terminating aggression! Why is this happening? Did you remember? No, oh, damn it! But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! Now to the gate. We'll reach the depot from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Those UEDs are my ticket straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out. Why is this device Sell the robots, then we'll sell a device that disables the robots to the competition. And then, we'll sell an upgrade to the robots that makes them immune to the device. Please put down your weapon. Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? I'm willing to make it. Oh no. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... Robocop, 
Now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake! Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. We must erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain. The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh. Now that's a visual. But, since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Night. You're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags! What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? 
Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it. But let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. I mean, can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. This is Reed. We have a job to do. My god, look at this place. Could things get any worse? I'd better be quiet. The stage is at the riverfront. We are almost there. This Wendell guy thinks he can toss us aside. We'll show him who runs this town. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to see the inauguration. <laughs> You like to vote? Let's vote! All in favor of kicking this guy's ass! Aye! Aye! Nay? I thought you said all the cops were fired! They were! Free, scumbags! Come get oh. him! Something else. We've got to push through. That's that damn OCP, isn't it? They want to ruin the city because their guy lost the election. But I won't let them do that. People voted for me, I owe them that. So, officer, tell me what's the situation. Every gang in the city is out for payback. They're not happy that Wendell used them, and his TV appearance didn't help. What about those damn robots, though? Can we use them to protect the city? They're under Wendell's full control. 
Ah, oh, murders and criminals. That's what OCP is. But there must be something we can do. We must uphold the law, and we must catch Wendell Latinowski. We need to find him first. Luckily, Wendell likes to see himself on the big screen. How does that help? The message you broadcast. I can track its signal, but I'll need a little time. We can buy you some time, rookie. I don't want to interrupt, but some damned robots want to join your party. We can't let them do that, partner. Can we? No. Murphy, I'll stay here with the mayor and watch out for the rookie while he tracks Wendell. You need to go out there and contain the situation. It's time to protect the innocent, Murphy. I was made to do that. Murphy, all hell broke loose. People are calling about crimes happening all over the city, but three stand out. Those should be your priority. Firstly, Torchhead set fire to one of the apartment buildings. There are people still stuck inside. You need to get them out. Secondly, street vultures are loading up a van full of explosives at their newly annexed chop shop. Seems they want to make a statement. Stop them before they do. Thirdly, the mercenaries Window hired got a hold of an ED-209 from that military expo. They let it loose, and it's wreaking havoc in front of the town hall. Hey, Tin Man. I've been picking up the dispatch phone ever since you left. People need help all over town. It's too many to handle, so I'll be directing all the incoming calls straight to you. Good luck, Tin Man. Let's get to to pull her out. I really tried, but smoke and... Is your mother inside? Yes, can you? There are police officers on the promenade. Go there. I will save your mother. <laughs> oh God, I can't open the door. Can someone help me? I can't open the damn door. Thank you! Watch out for smoke, citizen. Gail, where are you? <coughs> Is... Is that you? I've been waiting. I've been waiting <coughs> so long. <laughs> I will get you out. You're back. Mom, you're safe. 
I told you to go to the promenade. I have to protect my mom. I have to. I've, I've already failed her once. You are brave, Daniel, but courage is not pointlessly exposing yourself to danger. Now go to the promenade. The promenade, sir. Of course. Can, can you walk, Mom? Yes. Yes, I can. You're very strong, Daniel. Strong and brave, just like your father. One load off our shoulders. How are you getting on with that tracker, rookie? We're in luck. The signal wasn't cut off. They must have left in a hurry after they made the broadcast. But this whole OCP communications thing is a mess. Hey, some thugs are trying to play out a scene from a heist movie in my video store. The problem is, they're using real bullets. Please, send help. It's only a matter of time before they find me. Get caught! laundering going on here. It's your fault. What else are we supposed to think? About the vultures plans they want to blow up the bridge you need to stop them otherwise where will I get my maple syrup I am heading there now what is your status don't worry about us we're doing just fine Live explosives need deactivating. Do you need bomb squad assistance? I don't see any fireworks on the horizon. Have you managed? Yes. Good. 
This is no coincidence. I am heading there now. We'll escort the mayor to safety. Did someone call for backup? Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. Yeah. That's right. What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag. I am underground. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the Afterlife Project. So this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. Could be a trap. Wendell is not here. I am looking for anything that could help us find him. What about the lab? I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? To proceed, I must find the code to a locked door. That is police work at its most basic. Your favorite. The scientists did not like working with Wendell. What was Wendell's role in the project, anyway? He was coordinator, he hired scumbags, and then overworked the team. In OCP, that position is called executive. I found the door code. I am continuing pursuit. We've escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're gonna join Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit-chat after that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages from now on. That is, if you're close enough. So Murphy, this day ain't over yet. Check it out. It's Delta City's first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. Should he even be here? Aren't we lucky? Class, this place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and with I'm telling you, I'm Wendell's right-hand man. So if he's the king of Della City, then I am the prince. And you know what that makes you? An idiot if I keep listening to your nonsense. So I was thinking, once Delta City's built, 
will have the first dibs on all How many times do I have to say it? Some no. like to fight for the front row, but I'm more happy with the real I like view. to fuck around on the job as any other guy, but I asked that dude to bring me a screwdriver, and he came back with a cocktail. What a tool. Alex Murphy. You didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? The most free society there is, where everyone is equal. As long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers. Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop! Huh? Smoking kills. So, you finally took care of that, huh? We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired.
has been wiped out. We need backup now. What are you looking at me for? It's your problem. What do I pay you for? At this point, you either get your robots online or we are out. We're definitely not being paid to get slaughtered. Is that so? Everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for! Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. I have bigger fish to fry. You ungrateful fucks! You closed the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city! Surrender, or there will be trouble. I still have an army that will fight no matter what. So, Robocop, prepare to meet your demise. Now there is trouble. This isn't over. Stay away. Stay the hell away. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. You will regret throwing this opportunity away! Useless fucking machines! Can't you see? OCP is lying to you! I was the only one who was frank with you from the start! You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. Well, they wanted you emotional to better manipulate you. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise. You hunt criminals down. Oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. Then why don't you die like one? Uh. 
Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski... Dead. What about the city? Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep. But I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. You and me both. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? They love a sappy story over there. Maybe I'll even get some award for it. Then at least I'll be celebrating. Anyway, goodbye, OCP man. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed, and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. There are other professions worth pursuing. <laughs> yeah? Like what? Have you ever considered a corporate career? Ouch! I really believed I had what it takes to be a policeman. All I expected was a tiny bit of faith. Anyway, I'll pack my stuff. See you around, officer. We got Wendell. I'm glad that you're finally acknowledging us as a team. I couldn't have taken Wendell down without you. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. First time doing something selfless. And last. I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I had to help myself to a little pick-me-up that I found in the property room. You guys confiscate a lot of good stuff. That is not something you should say to me. Then I shall not say anything anymore. My medicine is starting to kick in anyway. Later, Tin Man. It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. 
People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. Be careful. What do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy! There seems to be a misunderstanding. Robocop! I wanted to leave you a message before I undergo this procedure. It has been a long and laborious process, but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely. The old old man! Uh, that you! I I didn't know! I I, I didn't mean to! Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you off. And it is because they can look past your mental exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be, Goodrock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. 
You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison, creep. Murphy, what the hell was that? Just an old friend. Do you need backup? I repeat, do you need backup? Negative. Keep the evacuation going. Copy that. Those sounds are making me nervous. Are you sure you're all right? Affirmative. You will not win this. Where the hell are you? I've lost visual. We went downstairs. What? Murphy, we got everyone out. Be careful, the building will not hold. You need to get yourself so out of here. Going somewhere? Robo, I don't like what I'm seeing. The building's actually shaking. Get out while you still can!
can't see him. I can't see anything. Move closer. Negative. When the building collapses, the dust cloud will choke the engine. Oh my god! Murphy! No! No, no! Wait! I see something! Is that him? Talk to me! It is me, Lewis. It has always been me. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City, Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up. Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. Soon on Channel 9, the Samantha Ortiz you didn't know. After recanting her unfounded accusations against OCP, our brave reporter ends her fieldwork and becomes Channel 9's newest morning show host. Her first guest? A woman with the world's biggest hands. Welcome back, Samantha. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. And now from hero to zero. A corporate employee saved the life of a policeman in the Holy Cow restaurant, but he did not do it for free. While performing the abdominal thrusts, Ulysses Washington stole the officer's badge. Caught red-handed, Washington claimed that the badge once belonged to him. Committing crimes while aspiring to be a cop, we've heard it all. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I saw on TV that it suffers from some kind of malfunction. What if he mistakes us for criminals or something? Who's gonna defend us from him? I thought you were with us, Robo. Human rights for a robot. <laughs> What's next, refrigerators? It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting, as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.